Hello everyone and welcome to the German demo lecture. My name is Prarthana Pai. I have 4 years of teaching experience. Have a YouTube channel going with the same name where I uh, share with you few tips and tricks on how you can crack German exams. Similarly, I have an Instagram account where I update you guys with any new batch or demo lecture. Before we jump to the main topic of today's, we are learning a language. So let's learn a couple of words through which we can interact with each other. Okay, I know it is just you at home watching this video, but try still interacting with me. I think that would boost your confidence a lot. Okay, so we are learning German language. So let's learn the word for it. Repeat after me, Deutsch. One more time, Deutsch. Perfect, great. Next, if you want to say yes, repeat after me, ja. Hmm? Even though I'm writing J, alphabet J is pronounced as Y. The sound of it is Y. So repeat after me, ja. One more time, everyone, ja. Perfect, amazing. All right, going great. Next, third, if you want to say no, repeat after me, nine. One more time, nine. Amazing. Now, I'll be asking you this word a lot and that is clear. Like if everything is clear to you or no. So, repeat after me, klar, klar. Perfect. And then finally, when you want to say done, suppose you're done writing, repeat after me, gemacht gemacht all right let's do the revision one more time deutsch ja nein klar gemacht amazing okay just make a note of this write it down somewhere it would be very helpful to you or you can take a screenshot of course now let's learn the alphabets in german language okay so again repeat after me das Alphabet. Come on, repeat after me. I know you are at home, but repeat after me. Das Alphabet. Correct. Amazing. The word das, let me write it down. The word das means the. So it's the alphabet. Okay. So, noch einmal bitte, one more time please. Das Alphabet. Amazing. So I have over here German alphabets. We are going to repeat. Okay. So, Let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. Okay, perfect. One more time, quickly, with confidence. A, B, C, D, A, F. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. Perfect. All right. So these are our normal words from A to Z. Germans have four extra alphabets. Okay. Let's look into it. Let me zoom in. Yeah. There we go. All right. Now please focus. You can see a couple of alphabets over here with two dots on it. These two dots are called as umlaut. Okay. So in English, we call it as, repeat after me, A umlaut. One more time. A umlaut, O umlaut, U umlaut. Perfect. A umlaut, O umlaut, U umlaut. 
But then what is the sound of it? Why do you put umlaut? Does the sound change? Does the pronunciation change? Focus. When I use a umlaut in any word, the pronunciation becomes a. One more time. A. O. O. U. U. One more time. A. O. U. One more time. Quickly. A. O. U. Perfect. And then finally, you have one extra alphabet which looks like beta from your math subject or capital B. It's called as S set. One more time. S set. Amazing. So these are the extra four alphabets which we need to keep in mind. Okay. You can take a screenshot or you can write it down. Pause the video and you can write it down. You can try. You can practice one more time. Now please focus. We are going to do a small conversation like an introductory conversation and we are going to try incorporating our alphabets in that conversation. Okay. Please focus. Any conversation starts with a basic hello. Okay. So repeat after me. Oh, hold on. Actually, wait. Focus. I have my vowel over here. Remember the alphabets? How do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce this particular alphabet? Ah. Correct? So repeat after me. Hello. One more time. Hello. Perfect. So always focus on the vowels. If you know your vowels perfectly, you can pronounce any single alphabet or word in German language. Next. Next, I want to ask, what is your name? Okay. Now, before we move forward, there are several ways of asking this question. If you have already done A1 level or you know the basics of it, you know there are two, three ways of asking this question. Since this is the very first lecture, we are going to go with the simplest question. Okay. Germans, they don't ask what. What is your name? No. They ask how. How is your name? Okay. So, let's translate that. For how, repeat after me. V. How V. Correct. Ist. Ihr Name. So, one more time. V ist Ihr Name. Perfect. One more time. V ist Ihr Name. Amazing. Now, when you want to answer this question, I can say, My name is... And then you say your name. Correct? So, for example... So, for example, my name is Prarthana. So, for my, repeat after me, mine. What do we say for name? Nama. Is is called as Ist. And then you say your name. So, if someone asks me this question, we Ist ihr Nama, I can say, my Nama is Prarthana. Hmm? Now, Suppose your name is a little tricky to spell and the other person makes you this request, please spell your name. Okay, so let's write it down. Please spell your name. Okay, first of all, repeat after me. It's quite lengthy. Book, Shta, Biren. One more time. Book, Shta, Biren. Book, Shta, Biren, Z. Bitter Eren Nama. One more time. Bookstabiaran Z. Bitter Eren Nama. Perfect. So the word Bookstabiaran means to spell Z. The word Z is U. We need to add this particular U because of a grammar topic which we'll be learning very soon in the course itself. Hmm? Bitter means please and Iranama means your name. Okay? So Bukstabiran Z bitter Iranama. If someone makes me this request, that means I have to spell each and every single alphabet in German language. Okay? So as we know my name is Prathana, I have to spell each and every alphabet. So that leads to focus. Pay air. A, R, T, H, A, N, A. 
okay if you want pause this audio for a second you can try pronouncing or spelling your own name once you're done with that i hope that was clear if not again you can put all your doubts in your comment section but for now when you want to say thank you okay oh sorry if you want to say thank you you can say repeat after me danke one more time danke perfect if you want to say welcome repeat after me bitter schön bitte schön okay one more time bitte schön perfect so let's have this conversation with you i'll give you space to answer all the questions i'll be asking you this questions okay so hello wie ist ihr name perfect buchstabieren sie bitte ihren name danke i hope that was clear all right so as you have all decided to learn german i think it's very clear that all of us are learning german because of different different reasons some of us is learning german for study purpose some for work some for visa purpose and some just for travel and hobby whatever your reason is i think it's actually great that you're learning german having this skill in your resume would be very helpful to you if not today definitely in future so now that we have decided to learn german these are the levels in german language you have six levels in german language a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 and c2 okay your a1 a2 are your beginner levels b1 b2 are intermediate c1 and c2 are your advanced levels okay now i'm giving you a couple of information i think that would be very helpful to you or your friends so if you want keep a note of it all right so if you're looking for german universities where subjects are taught in english okay then i think i would highly recommend anything between a1 to b1 some of the universities need your a1 level some need till a2 skills and some need till b1 skills so if you want to expand your scope if you want to widen your scope of uh, applying to different different universities i think it would be really great if you complete till b1 level hmm? then If you're looking for German universities where subjects are taught in German, this is very important for those who are going for a doctorate degree uh, or for au pair. I think it is very important that you finish till your C1 level. Okay? If you're going for a medical degree, then you will have to give C1 level exam and for a safer side you also need to give TESTA. So if you want to give TESTA as well, you want to prepare for it, do contact to me. I'll guide you with everything. don't worry hmm? then if you want to work in germany then now this is actually my um, students uh, experience what they do is they start with a1 and a2 with me and by the time they reach a2 level their job applications and interview processes starts in the interview um, you there is one section where you have to speak about general things about yourself why you want the uh, job and all of these in german language the interview wants to see how comfortable you are with their language okay so by the time you are in a2 level your interview process is start you get a job and then if you have any better opportunities in future then my students come back to me and do b1 and b2 level all right so what i would suggest is focus till your a2 level if you have time great go ahead with b1 as well but i think by a2 level you'll get your desired job and then you can go ahead with b1 and b2 as and when necessary and then finally is if you need a spouse visa sometimes it's very important to do a1 level even if you don't need a visa or whatever that might be okay even if you don't need a1 level for your visa even if you don't need your a1 level for visa i think knowing the basics of german for survival basis would be actually great you're going in german like you're going in germany you need to know the basics of their language for the survival basis now 
if your university or your company needs you to give german exams then there are several institutions the exams are conducted in goethe institution there's a telk institution there's an oste correct so these are the three main institution goethe telk and oste whatever is your goal do let me know so that i can give you the preparation that way right now i'm just giving you know an example of goethe institute as their certificates are worldwide applicable okay so it's not just european cities or countries it's everywhere so goethe institute whatever your uh, institution is goethe tech oste these are the basic modules reading writing speaking and listening whatever exams you want to give i'll be preparing you in the course itself for the exams you don't have to pay separately for it you can do the course and exam preparation together with me then once you pass all of your exams let it be go if hey tell go ast these are the certificates this is the type of the certificate you will receive all right now in order to prepare for all these exams or for the course itself these are the books which i'll be providing to you you'll get netswear course book as well as arbeids book for layman it means textbook and workbook okay so i'll provide you textbook and workbook along with that these are the four books which i have created for my students 90% of my students are either working or they are in the university and i know you guys don't have a lot of time to make curated notes i know that so that's why i have created a separate vocabulary book separate writing exam book where you have a lot of email topics and sample answers as well you have a separate vocabulary book and an oral exam book hmm? just like we did a speaking practice today same way so these are the five books which i'll be providing it to you okay you will get the netswear book anywhere online don't worry but the, these four books is something which i have created for my students you won't find it online these are exclusively for my students itself further in the course there are two things two mantras which we will be following a weekly exam a short exam i'll take sometimes in this form of speaking sometimes listening sometimes writing vocabulary depending on the need of the course i will be taking a weekly exam every saturday and then once we finish the syllabus i'll be providing you with eight mock papers out of which three to four papers we are going to solve in the course itself and the remaining you can keep it with you you can and the remaining you can keep it with you we can solve it together oh no and the remaining you can keep it with you you can solve it at home and send the answers for me to check so demo lectures for this month you have one on 25th november that is saturday 26th november sunday 3rd december and 10th december 3rd and 10th december i think both of them are sundays so i think most of you would be free on saturdays and sundays do attend the demo lecture if you're not free on these days or any other day do let me know that as well i'll give you the recording of the demo lecture don't worry about it okay so the demo lecture for a1 level is 8 to 9 am and 7 to 8 pm you can join any one a2 level 9:30 to 10:30 and 8:30 to 9:30 in the evening again you can join any one if you want to join both it's fine i'm going to teach the same thing in morning and evening batch okay you want to do revision join both the lectures you are most welcome b1 level 11 am to 12 pm in the morning and evening 6 to 7 pm and b2 level 12:30 to 1:30 pm all of these are indian timings okay so if you are living out of india just check your schedule and then let me know I've given all my contact details below. You can WhatsApp me if you want to attend the demo lecture or if you want to take the admission in the course. And I've also given you my Instagram handle if you want to check it check it out. Hmm? I hope I've cleared all the doubts. Uh, whatever your doubts are, you can definitely contact me on the given contact details. I'm looking forward to see you all in the upcoming demo lectures. Till then, cheers. Bye.